This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. Dot com. One of the characters in a Tom Clancy movie had an insightful thought. The character said, essentially, if you want to attack something powerful, or rather, if you want to bring down something powerful, you don't attack it. You get it to attack something else powerful. Or you get something else powerful to attack powerful number one. Doing this kind of thing directly is just a little bit too intriguey for my personality. But, in theory, I sure like the idea of getting bureaucrats to fight each other, hopefully without any shooting. Uh, I like that more than I like the idea of the free keen, strident attack approach. Peaceful though it always is. Free Keen is good at getting publicity, but they don't really effectively divide the government most of the time. They unite it against them. I have only been able to carry out this uh, type of approach, this getting bureaucrats to fight each other type approach, a few times, and it's usually kind of by accident. But I think I might be able to do it more often if I just get better at conflict. The, the, and and you, you can probably do this too. The, the trick is you want to be supported by some of the bureaucrats or some of the politicians. And if that's the case, then when other politicians and bureaucrats come after you, the ones who instinctively support you will come to your aid. In that case, they become your allies. And of course, you don't really, you don't want them to lose in that case. But getting this kind of result is probably possible when you just aren't doing anything that a reasonable person would question. You're just maybe trying to record something public, a public official, or you're just trying to get, engage in peaceable, open-handed commerce. They can't come for you without bringing their brothers down upon them. Not to mention the public backlash. Now, there's another way I've seen this done, sort of deploying bureaucrat against bureaucrat, and that is by watching uh, Chris King of Nashua. He's a civil rights guy, and I think a former attorney. I don't think he's currently practicing. Not sure. But he will litigate sometimes on his own. I've seen him do it in federal court. And although he's not particularly effective, and his videos are hard to follow, he is very good at getting bureaucrats into a quagmire. He had three GOP attorneys a U.S. Marshal and a high-ranking GOP official almost in a state of panic over his legal challenges. He wanted access to Senator Kelly Ayotte. He wanted to be able to interview her, to be at her quasi-public events. He lost his case in federal court, but he probably cost the GOP tens of thousands of dollars. Now, although I'm generally allied with the GOP in New Hampshire... I can still appreciate Chris King's mosquito versus gorilla approach. A mosquito really can bother a gorilla. Eventually, he kind of got his way, and the AOT folks started letting him get close to her and ask her questions. Once they did that, everything kind of died down. I doubt Chris spent much money, and he had a federal judge kind of do his work for him. Again, there's some ethical, maybe, concerns with libertarians doing that because of the fact that you're kind of accepting aid from the federal government in a, in a sense. But, again, the, the mosquito versus gorilla analogy is powerful. Now, <clears throat> there may be another way to do this sort of thing that I haven't thought of. And that's what the comment section is for. Bitcoins, the world's first practical internet cash. A nightmare for governments to try and control. Inflation and counterfeit resistant. They return you some control over your money. And a new measure of anonymity. A lot cheaper to use than PayPal. You can use them to buy tax-free cigarettes. And almost anything else. I accept Bitcoins. So can you. Get started at WeUseCoins.com